Hello, and welcome to the Postal Players channel. Today we're going to dig into more of my Goodwill stamps. Uh, I, if you haven't been following, I received or bought uh, four large bags of stamps from Goodwill that had many bags or envelopes and even some loose stamps within. Uh, this is a Bermuda this time in this video, and uh, this was in bag four, if you're keeping track. So let's dig into these. I can already see a couple I like. Most of them are going to be that way upright. The last three hanging out there. Here we go. So we'll start with this one because I quite like the design, the, the seal of Hamilton Bermuda. Uh, they call it the the Perdo Pro 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 stamp, I believe. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess the T is silent, but I'm not sure. Some lovely flowers on the side, 1948. Uh, a little bit of a hinge remnant. Make sure that's in frame for us. Very nice. Now this one's interesting. Uh, it is, uh, it looks like a surcharge of some sort, or uh, basically it's uh, obliterating. It almost looks like typewritten, and that's how, uh, how unofficial this looks compared to most. Maybe it's just the font they chose. Basically, they've obliterated the um, the one uh, pence and written half penny on it. Uh, wonderful ship there. I'm gonna set this right here, and then this one is just fabulous. This sailboat, incredible seahorses at the top. Um, two pence. I absolutely love this design. Wonderful. I don't think I've seen it before, uh, but sometimes I surprise myself. I can't remember everything. Um, this is quite nice as well. Uh, Lightly, lightly cancelled, fairly well centered. I thought I was missing a perf, but I'm not. Just very, very fine. Although this corner maybe is a little imperfect, but I'm not as picky as some. Hopefully that's not a thin on the back. Anyway, from the front, it looks fabulous. Here we have a wonderful uh, beach and sea scene. It looks like some kind of slogan cancelled very faintly there. Very nice. Here we have um, maybe a village scene. I don't know if it's just a single house or part of a village. Not clear. Six, six pence. Here's another uh, beach and cliff scene. One and a half pence. That's going to be an earlier issue. Let's take a look at these little ones here. So we have another two and a half. Wonderful. Uh, I don't know if there's watermark varieties of these. I'll have to research that. Uh, a one and a one half in the typical colors. Here's another one of this ship stamp, but without the um, surcharge overprint and uh, in an, in a different color, clearly a different color, a little more orange in it, if you will. And here is another one of this sailboat, which I love. I really kind of like the cancel on it. It's the slogan cancel. I can probably look up what the whole thing says. But uh, I love how Bermuda is centered right across the middle. And I like the wavy double lot. It's a neat cancel. And here we are with a uh, royal wedding stamp, I believe, from 37. Again, a really common one. That's not in frame. Let me start over here. And here we have another one of this ship stamp, but in another color and another denomination. So this is the one and a half pence. I'm going to go in the same column here, as I'm quite sure it's the same series. We have a lighthouse. They don't actually put the description on this particular series as as they do in maybe some of the other countries. Here's another one of the uh, Perot stamp, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. This time it's a sixpence with a different flower, interesting. Um, and of course different colors. And here we have, I believe this is the same here. Again, I don't know if there's watermarks or, or multiple issues of these. I haven't researched them ahead of time. And here's a two and a half of the um, Pro stamp, and it is mint with a hinge remnant. 
Oh, this one's neat. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Uh, this is, uh, hopefully I'm still in line, I'm pulling closer to read it, Tricentenary of Establishment of Representative Institutions. That's a mouthful. Uh, 1920, 1620 to 1920. Uh, I'll go up here with it. What have we here? And this is more in line with this series here. Uh, same image as that, but different uh, monarch. So I'll put it in this pile. Here we have uh, the 1D again. Uh, this color matches, so I'm going to overlap these. And here's another 6P mint with hinge remnant. Uh, oh, this time mint with hinge remnant as opposed to the uh, used one before. And here we have a nice map of Bermuda. Really, really nice with Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, just for space reasons, I'll put that in this column. And uh, hopefully I've given myself enough room. I, I uh, chose to not go for full amount of real estate to get a little bit bigger picture here. Hopefully that doesn't backfire. Here's a two and a half. I'm going to go up on top of this one because I think it's the same stamp. There is a one half. Now it's slightly lighter than this other one. But uh, I'm going to assume that it's just a slight variation and not a significant uh, noteworthy variation and stack them. Here we have a wonderful, uh, what looks like harbor scene with some sailboats. Um, I'm not sure where this belongs chronologically, uh, so I'll put it over here where I've got a little more space. Here we have another two and a half, or one and a half I should say. Uh, look, I've got a little bit more of that cancel I was saying I liked before. So I bet it says, welcome to Bermuda Isles of something. And uh, possibly more of the same one, but I can't read it as well. So another three. What have we here? Another two and a half of that series. I'm still on screen. That's the end of that column, though. And uh, here's a wonderful um, eight pence with a bird. The bird is, oh, it's only got Latin. Um, Phaeton flavoratus. Uh, I'm not going to try to translate that. It's been a long time. Uh, but a wonderful bird uh, showing movement. And what's neat is we have uh, pinkish uh, cancel ink, which is it's quite nice to see. I see something a little unusual there. Uh, let's see. And here we have another wedding issue. This time Queen Elizabeth. And here we have... Uh, Actually, I'll do this one first because we've seen it before. So actually, here's a one and three. That's a fairly high denomination of the map of Bermuda as well. Here's another one of that bird, a six. And this one is mint with hinge remnant. And then we have this flower here. I'm going to use some of the space in the middle here. Uh, this is a Bermuda Easter lily, one and a half pence. And here's another uh, pro stamp. I've said it like eight times now, so I really hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, I'll put it over here, even though I know it's a different series. And here's a wonderfully uh, detailed, rigged ship. And I'm going to try to read the person in the top right, Sir George Summers. I'll have to look him up. I'm not familiar with his uh, claim to fame, if you will. He's done something to deserve getting on a stamp loan. And, oh, this is really, really nice. Um, Bermuda Racing Dinghies. Fabulous. Um, we Where I live, uh, racing dinghies are fairly popular as well, although I have not done it. And here's another one of the coronation issues. I've mentioned this in a previous video. See those? A very prevalent stamp. Often, often you can find them mint for a very low cost, and then certainly uh, lots of colors, depending on the country you get it from. Here's a much newer one. So here is a um, 1968, I believe, and the postmark is the same, a wonderful Hamilton Bermuda circular date stamp with the Olympic Games Mexico. Of course, we have uh, soccer or football. Uh, it looks like some running or track and uh, sailing, of course. 
And the last two stamps, uh, I've done a video with a lot of these flowers before. It's a wonderful series. And then I don't think I've ever seen this one quite nice. Um, I'll put it here just because we have the room. And it is uh, some kind of flower and it doesn't say what kind, but a quite elaborate, tropical looking. And I just love the color. It's, um, it's almost like a very, very light olive green. Uh, makes it look very delicate. Uh, quite nice. What a fun lot this was as well. Uh, I love my uh, Bermuda stamps and uh, I'll be uh, gladly adding these to my collection. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm not sure what's up next. Maybe I will try to get into um, one of the thicker packs of stamps from Goodwill, um, but uh, as soon as I know I will get it done. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.